Our patient is a 65-year-old gentleman with severe cardiomyopathy. Um, his left ventricular ejection fraction, which is a measure of how strongly the main pumping chamber of his heart pumps, uh, has, has been measured at about 15%, so that makes him very high risk. He came in with severe respiratory distress. We subsequently did a diagnostic coronary angiogram, which is a test where we inject contrast dye into the arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle. And we found that he had uh, what appeared to be a severe blockage in the main artery that goes down the front of his heart. This is known by, by many people as the Widowmaker artery. Having a blockage in that very important location in the heart uh, probably was contributing to the fact that his heart muscle was doing so poorly. Uh, when left ventricular ejection fraction is 10% or 15%, the patient is at extremely high risk for sudden cardiac death. We're doing the stent deployment in the artery and just for a split second cutting off blood to the heart muscle, um, the patient has no reserve and that can, can result in a very serious problem. When we did his angiogram, he had a blockage that you know, is what we call eccentric, which means it's, it's hard to characterize with angiography alone. It appeared on certain images to be a very severe blockage and perhaps something that we should fix. It appeared on other images to be not so bad and that can happen when a plaque is eccentric. Coronary OCT was developed in order to be a solution to that problem. It's a, it's a new technology that doesn't involve ultrasound. OCT stands for Optical Coherence Tomography. We can get very, very high resolution pictures. In this particular case, it was extremely helpful. We were able to go in, take very precise measurements, have very good visualization of both the plaque inside the artery and of the, the vessel itself, and uh, we were able to determine that this was a hemodynamically significant blockage. It is a, a way to go inside and look inside the blood vessel. So the Impella device is uh, a type of left ventricular assist device. What that means is it's uh, a device that we can put inside the main pumping chamber of the heart and it helps to take, take over the heart's function of pumping blood out into the aorta and out to the rest of the body. Uh, the way that it works, it has a mechanical pump and it essentially sucks blood from the left ventricle or the main pumping chamber of the heart and then redistributes it out into the aorta so that it can be distributed to the organs and the muscles and tissues of the body. I would have had a, a great deal of concern doing this patient without some, some type of circulatory uh, assist device in place. Down. Everybody involved in the case did a fantastic job. Uh, the patient uh, uh, did very well throughout the case. It went off without a hitch and I think he's going to have a lasting uh, and important long-term uh, uh, good outcome. <laughs>